Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. Today is April 14, 2021. We're in week number 15 of the year, and really, I want to cover what's the big news for today. And I'm going to show you that right away, but after this message. If you want to level up your investing, please join Investing 102 Group on Facebook. That is where you can learn how to level up your thinking. On to the news of today. The big news is Bitcoin, Ether, almost everything. Doge is hitting new time high. XPR was doing well. I don't follow XPR, but these are the things that you need to look at. Look at the percentage gains. This is huge. But the big news today is Coinbase. Coinbase is doing an IPO, or actually it's not an IPO. Let me correct myself. It is a direct listing. So they are doing a direct listing. Some people think the shares will pop up to four or five hundred dollars a share. It's very expensive. Coinbase is now going to be worth over a hundred billion dollars. That doesn't mean you still can't tenfold your money, but obviously, from an investing standpoint, most people like to buy companies when they're smaller and they and then you own it while they're growing. Can Coinbase become a trillion dollar business? It's possible. I mean, there's there's only a handful of them, right? The top five companies are trillion dollars. So can this company tenfold? It's possible. So outside of that, I do want to talk about Bitcoins and how to invest in it. It's a tricky asset class. A lot of times, right? A couple of years ago, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger call it Rat Poison Square. Even a few years ago, Bill Gates wasn't a big fan of it. So there was a lot of reasons why people avoided it. So I want to talk about this from my point of view. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor or a planner. So if you, this is just for educational purposes only and what I have done. So here is my Shape Shift account, which is where I store my crypto on a hardware wallet. So I use this particular site. I store all my crypto on a hardware wallet so it's not connected. And let me show you something. This is a one-year chart. You see the value today, but let me show you what the value was a year ago. I mean, it's it was nothing. It was worth a thousand bucks. Wasn't even really worth it. And I really didn't add anything to it. I mean, I added a maybe three hundred bucks lately. But you see, most of this came from the run up in the price change, which makes sense. Most people understand that Bitcoin went up about seven hundred percent. This year, or right here, you see 800%. So that makes sense of where the gains came from. So the question now is, what if I didn't get in a year ago? What if I missed this six, seven, eight hundred percent run up? What do you do? And really, the best answer in any investing is, one is always be careful of what you invest. If you're not willing to lose it, you shouldn't do it. Two, if you are going to invest, a lot of people just use a dollar cost averaging method. You remove the emotions out of it. You invest small amounts over time, and that's how you build your position. You're not going all in, and you're not taking a big risk. Now, there are some drawbacks to that. If something moves up three, 400% in a short period of time, you miss the run up. But part of investing is admitting to yourself, you know that you're never going to get perfect timing. You know you're never going to time an asset at the lowest price point anyway. So the strategy of dollar cost averaging is what? Just like in your 401k plan. Do you really care if the market is up or down? Do you really pay attention to it? You really don't. So dollar cost averaging is a method where you're saying, I'm not smart enough to know where the tops are, and I don't know where the bottoms are. But if I buy it in a consistent basis, even if it's five bucks or 10 bucks a month or weekly or whatever it may be, what you're saying with dollar cost averaging is I'm going to buy a little bit. And if it goes to zero, you'll see it coming and you lose your money, but you won't lose a lot because you're dollar cost averaging in. What will really suck is 10 years into this of dollar cost averaging and then Bitcoin goes to zero, right? Something like that, you will see it coming on the day it goes to zero, but for the first nine years and change, you're not going to see anything. But that's always the risk with any investment. 
We saw that with Enron. Everything looked great until the day it crashes. So there's always a risk with any investment. And people who say there isn't, obviously they um, don't understand that there's always risk in everything. And the last thing I want to touch on is everybody thinks Bitcoin will hit a million. I don't know will it hit a million. Maybe in the future it will. But for the short term, most people are thinking Bitcoin may actually cross $100,000 this year. And if you look at it, it's not even that far away. I mean, you look at where it was this year and where we were at 30,000. Now we're closer to 64. Is it possible? Maybe. The other big news is this one here. Ether made an all-time high and some people think the run will continue for Ether. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. Again, right, we're not smart enough to predict where prices will go, but there's reasons to speculate to say Ether is going to introduce uh, some burning of, of tokens, and so that will remove some supply from Ether, which is what some people complain about because Ether had unlimited supply, whereas Bitcoin is a fixed supply. And so there's some, some uh, speculation of if Ether can maintain some of the supply and burn some coins off, will it create some extra value in the coin? So I don't really know. I'm, I am following it just to see what happens. As, as with any investment, you don't need to bet on one horse or the other horse. You can bet on the top two horses or you can buy the top five or ten coins. It's up to you, right? No one... This is why investment is partly speculation and what you think will happen. For other people who don't want to speculate, you just want to split your bets up between the top two or three or four coins. So I'm following this story because if that happens, obviously a lot of people will be excited because there's a lot of people who accumulated this at two or three hundred dollars per coin. And if that hits ten thousand, obviously it means a lot of people more than 20 30 fold their money with that being said there's always a high risk in crypto it can still go to zero or it can go to the moon regardless of which way it goes make sure that you're not investing more than you can afford to lose hopefully you enjoyed this update on crypto comment below let me know what your strategy is when it comes to bitcoin or ether or or what's your strategy of accumulating more coins don't forget, let's uh, do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time. As always, have a profitable day. Bye-bye.